Hello everyone, it is Rory here again at that Eurovision site and we are continuing on with our interviews for Estelal 2023 and this time I am so incredibly, incredibly joyful and thrilled to be joined by Mia who will be hoping to represent Estonia with her song Ux Sam Korraga, there we go. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. That's so great. Your oh. your Estonian pronunciation is so good. <laughs> oh, Aita, Aita. <laughs> Lovely. So, uh, yes, so you will be hoping to represent Estonia with uh, Um, Would you be able to sort of get us started by just telling us a bit about what the song means and just what it means to you? Yeah, sure. So I, I wrote this song at a point where I was feeling kind of stuck because um, I was putting a lot of pressure for myself that I, I that I, I need to be always moving forward and need to be um, achieving certain things. Um, but I was not at the point where I was close to my goal. So the Uksam uh, Goraga means one step at a time. So maybe you're not always, if you have visions or sometimes you just want to do something you don't even have maybe a clear vision but you just have this um sensation inside of you that you really want to do something uh, but you don't maybe dare to dream big enough to th or think you can get there so the song is about feeling how sometimes other people are doing so much better and you feel like giving up and so it's basically saying just take one step at a time and and trust in yourself just let yourself be free instead of like stressing about everything <laughs> so that's pretty much the message <laughs> That's so cool. And uh, of course, you know, that's a that's a big thing that everyone does. You know, they, they compare themselves all the time. So, you know, yeah. just taking it at one step at a time and not trying to compare yourself to other people. It's just so much easier. Yeah, yeah it's, it's really hard to do because I think it's uh, in a way human nature because humans are all to... Um, live in groups and not alone and for to live in a group you kind of have to fit in a group so you're just always like checking in but if you want to go f like yeah for far in life you you cannot be comparing or you can always also choose if you compare you also have to look on the other side what you have already achieved you know that you have already made steps we keep forgetting that i think also that that we have to celebrate the little steps that we and little achievements that we make oh definitely and i think you know you've you've definitely hit the right sort of note with that i think in your song as well and of course um your song is also fully written by you as well so how was yeah. that sort of um to to write everything including like the piano section because that part oh when I heard that oh, I was so, like in love so uh, the, I've written the lyrics and the melody so the uh, instrumental is not ba made by me so I'm not unfortunately not that talented it was made by my piano teacher because I started to learn, I, I, I studied uh, sitar, which probably many people don't know what the instrument is, but it's uh, it's like a harp, but it's on legs. <laughs> so it's oh. a string instrument, yeah. <laughs> but it has a sound box under, so it's a mixture between harp and a guitar, kind of. So, um, uh, so I studied that when I was younger and I always wanted to learn piano and I only started at spring. And my piano teacher is also the producer of my songs. So we kind of <laughs> do two things together. So uh, we made the song, to, uh, he made the instrumental and he made the piano part. So, yeah. And, uh, uh, but, because uh, uh, I was at the uh, Estilao also 10 years ago. And that time my producer was making all the songs for me, like the lyrics and the music and the instrumental. And this time, and I had a break from music. And now I really feel like I just want to, uh, 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 yeah, be more creative from uh, myself and give a message that I have inside me, sort of. Uh, and so I think uh, uh, in the diff in the beginning it was very difficult to write the songs and the lyrics and and and, and I haven't and, made and two many songs. So I'm very uh, proud that uh, this song has made to the semi final because it's I think maybe sixth song that I made in my life. So I think it's kind of really? maybe a bit a beginner's luck also. 
<laughs> but, oh, wow. uh, that's so fantastic that you've been able to you know even if you've not written many songs yourself that your songwriting skills are, are so strong that you can get to to ASD level with, with a song yeah that you've I, I think yeah I'm very very happy about that <laughs> oh definitely and it's a great song as well and you know it, it it has such a positive uplifting message as well and the music obviously fits in really well with that so I think you, you've done fantastically well with that thank you um, very well, no problem um so so obviously yes uh, you you mentioned you were in Estilol back in sort of 2012 with Bon Voyage. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. So, so, so how, like, how was it competing then compared to competing now? Obviously, you've not been in the show yet, but yeah. is, is there any difference yet? So the organization is a little more, uh, a little different. It's, uh, I would say it's a better organized, but there's much more preparation work uh, uh, related to, I mean, uh, from the um, team part that's organizing the event itself. I mean, there, it's a more step-by-step -step progress and not just like come and show up <laughs> with your thing. So, so that's nice. Uh, and overall, yeah, it's, it's a very, uh, uh, it's a, it's a very stressful uh, period, I would say, for all the competi competitors because there is a lot of things to do, and obviously, by country is very different. For example, in, in Norway, everything is paid for you uh, for the artists, what uh, whatever, like not whatever, but what they wish to do on the stage, and so here it's every artist does uh, financially has to provide for themselves, um, and there's a lot of aspects to uh, think about when you have. Uh, let's say uh, a normal performance it's usually not that big you know so it, it, there's much more preparation involved and um, it's been very very exciting but also very intense <laughs> oh yeah I can definitely tell I mean uh, we've been speaking to a couple of the other competitors as well and they've been oh my god stressing out just as much about things but it, it, it's it's the yeah. adrenaline I think that keeps people going isn't it so yeah yeah and it's <laughs> I think this year in our uh, in the Estonian uh, semi-finals, you have a lot of younger people and you have a lot of people that have made their own songs. So I think it's very fun because, uh, yeah, you can see their own creation. So it's not just someone else writing for you. So you see the person singing, but also the same person wrote the song. So I think that's that's very nice also. <laughs> yeah definitely and I mean you're now also part of that as well having having written at least part of the song as well which is great yeah so so, so what sort of brought you back to ASD Lal? was it just the fact you thought okay this song I feel can go or is it you know what 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 was your driving your motivation yeah so um uh, we started working together, uh, making the songs uh, in spring. So we uh, and we keep doing that, obviously. Um, and this was just actually I was aiming for another song that was in English. <laughs> it was a more like a ballad type. Uh, and but this was actually just meant to uh, because you can send it in English and in Estonian. And I had this song ready already. I was thinking, yeah, I'll just send that one also. You know, I, I didn't even think I would uh, enter the competition with that song. <laughs> so it was kind of uh, surprising. Oh uh, yeah, it, it was a re it's a really good song, and I mean I'm intrigued now to see what the English uh, song sounds like. Will you be releasing that sort of after Estilal then, or? Uh, yeah, actually, not right after because we'll probably just uh, do an Estonian song for the local market. But, uh, but I, uh, because I have a few songs uh in English that, uh, and I think I will just do like a little album in springtime. So um yeah and then I'll release the song there. <laughs> oh okay I'll be I'll be patiently waiting and I'm, I'm really looking forward <laughs> to seeing what which one it can be. It'd be great. So um so obviously you know you've had a, a variety now in in sort of you, you know with Bon Voyage and and Uksam Koroga um sort yeah. of in the in the style of it. So what who are some of your like inspirations in in your music like your influences? Uh, so do you mean uh, okay so internationally I really like some French speaking artists that are uh, Angel she I think she's been okay. really popular in uh, uh, international charts not only and uh, Stromae 
Oh, Strome, amazing artist. Yeah, yeah I love yeah. them. These are great artists oh. because they really bring like a message that they have inside of themselves, like some problems that they think about that are in society or in themselves, you know, that they struggle with and they just put it in a song. And I really uh, love that. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's the emotion of it, you know, like not wanting to yeah. hold anything back thing, you know, and, and so many artists don't do that now. So it's nice to have yeah. uh, people that are, you know, honest about how they feel, which is fantastic. Yeah, yeah, I think because we are coming more and more of concern of how everyone looks because of all the social media stuff that we, at the same time, people are maybe becoming more and more also a bit ashamed of themselves if they don't look perfect enough. So, but you see, there's a really strong movement of of, of people uh, <clears throat> uh, like showing up more natural and more just themselves you know like kind of fighting for the idealist thing you know which which kind of is an engine for the economy also you know that people don't feel enough and then they'll just buy whatever to feel <laughs> get better you know feel yeah. better yeah yeah definitely yeah but you know I think we're we're pushing in the right direction I think which is always a good sign yeah so like yeah that. yeah <laughs> so um Obviously, you know, you, you've now already competed in Ace de Laol and, you know, you have memories of, of Ace de Laol, but in general, um, like, who are some of your sort of favourites from from just in general, the competition or, or Eurovision favourites as well? Like, who are the songs that, like, usually are like, oh, yeah, I love listening to this? Yeah, for example, the arcade song is just uh, wonderful. Uh, I really love the Sam Smith song. Also, he's uh, he has just such, such a technique. You know that's uh, crazy. <laughs> yeah, um, no, definitely. Yeah, and obviously there's a lot of entrances uh, from Estonia that I love. Like one of my favorite artists is uh, with Lefflan, who was actually he was competing the same year that I was uh, ten years ago, and then he won. Uh, yeah, with Lula. Yeah. Just a, it's such an amazing song. It's it's like a, a really epic song in Estonia, you know. <laughs> oh yeah, I I can imagine you can hear it um like on 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 the radio in the car just blast like cool <laughs> you know like just going yeah wow <laughs> your Estonian is so good. <laughs> Oh, oh, I thought, I thought. <laughs> this is the benefit of having someone who's from Estonia be your friend. He could, they can tell you everything. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> oh, lovely. So, so you know, Ace Laul is coming very close now. Can you sort of give yeah. us some secrets about what you're planning for your performance, or is everything sort of a secret for now? No, it's not a secret. I mean, it's in a week, and um. Uh, it's not because uh, the way they made it this time is that uh, uh, it's the it's the semi-finals have like a really small stage so you don't have and there's no LED screen between uh, behind there will be in a final <clears throat> so basically they put emphasis more on the song itself you know let's say um, but what I have is uh, two backing vocals uh, but backstage and then uh, uh, there's one surprise, which I won't tell, but then I have two dancers on the stage. <laughs> oh, okay. This is going to be an interesting show then. I'm I'm looking forward to seeing how it, like the lighting will all play down in the chorus and oh, yeah. it's going to, it's going to look really good. I think I, I, I yeah. can already see it online now that you've, you've said those things. I could see it already happening. It's going to be great. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Very exciting. So, so Yes. So obviously, if someone listens to Uksam um, Koraga uh, and thinks this is an amazing song, I need to check out some more of her music. What would be one song from your sort of back catalogue that you would recommend people to listen to? Um, that's a good question. But uh, uh, for example, in YouTube, on the same channel, I think the most popular thing and a very beautiful song is uh, the cover I made I want to know what love is and there's a video for it so it's also uh, cool to see let's say uh, and a beautiful video by made by a very talented Estonian uh, videographer who went to study in London I think so 
yeah. Uh, so it, now he's doing much more, uh, uh, like yeah, like bigger projects, let's say for companies and all. So, but I don't think he does too many music videos anymore. <laughs> Well, shame because I'm sure it was. I'm sure it's fantastic anyway. But you know, you have to start somewhere, I guess. So that's yeah, cool. yeah. Uh, <laughs> lovely. And yeah. Um. So obviously, you know, if we match, so we get to um the final of Estilal and you win, and that would be fantastic. What would it mean to you to represent Estonia in in Liverpool? Um. It's a good question. I, I I don't really think of myself like as one of the favorites if I look at the statistics and, and the numbers. So I haven't really thought about like actually going to the Eurovision this year because um, I don't think it's one of the songs that's going to uh, uh, well uh, go. To, uh, yeah, the way. Uh, did you, yeah, no, I just lost my <laughs> words, but all yeah, right. if I look at the numbers uh, of like the views and, and all the, uh, so realistically, I don't think I'm going to be the one going, so, which is fine for me because it's, I'm, um, yeah, I'm so, kind of starting out as a songwriter and I'm just happy to be in the competition and I'll be happy to be in the final. And I think for that time, it's going to be enough for me. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. I think, again, Uksamkoraga, one step at a time. So, you know, yeah. the fact you have the, the, the chance to show your music to at least uh, Estonia is, is a great opportunity. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So, so just uh, one last question. Is there a message that you'd like to give to our viewers here at that Eurovision site? Uh, yeah, just... Um, uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I was going to take a thinking break. And uh, uh, basically, of course, uh, uh, already my song is like a message that I want to give to people one step at a time. But yeah, I, I would just uh, like the people to be happy in their own skin, let's say. Just uh, appreciate their, themselves and like be kind to another. And, most, uh, and mostly also be kind to yourself. You know, that's what we tend to forget if you're kind to yourself you're going to be kind to other people so oh, that's such amazing uh, words of wisdom there I need to definitely do that as well <laughs> we all need to I think it's, it's, a, it's yeah. a thing that we all have to do. yeah, yeah. Oh, lovely well uh Aita, ya edu pol finalu. thank you so much and, uh, Thank you so much for coming on to talk to us and I'll be keeping all my fingers crossed that you qualify for the final and do really well in Ace it all and uh, thank you so yes, much. Have, a great, have a great day. Thank you so much. You too. Thank you.